So hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm excited, just a small bit, okay? I am so excited to finally be starting Daryl's show. Oh my God, out of everyone that could have gotten a spin-off, I am most excited for his. I love him, okay? I love him. He is my absolute favorite little, little bundle of a human. Before we get started, as always, the more extended version of this reaction is going up over on Patreon. But also over there, I've started reactions for The Vampire Diaries because I never finished that show. So I decided to go back and restart it before I tried to finish it. The nostalgia is hitting me very, very strong, okay? Life life is just so good at the moment. I got Darren Dixon's new show in my life. I have The Vampire Diaries back in my life. I'm also working through reactions for Heartstopper. Hang on, I gotta get up my files. I can never remember what bloody shows I'm doing. You think I should remember. I recently started The Handmaid's Tale as well, Only Murders in the Building season three. Powering through Outer Banks, The X-Files. I think I'm just about to finish Peacemaker or in the upcoming weeks, I'm just about to finish season one of Peacemaker as well as the other regular shows that we've been doing for what seem, what feels like years now, like Buffy, Star Trek, stuff like that. There's also live streams and film reactions. There's going to be a Halloween week closer to Halloween. So yeah, the link to that's in the description down below, along with the link to my Twitter, my Instagram, TikTok, anywhere you can find me. I'm just so damn excited for this. I am going to try and stay objective though, yeah? I'm going to try and stay objective about it, even though already this show is like a lump of gold to me because my favourite little guy is in it. I talk about him like he's a tiny little cinnamon roll and he is in fact like an apocalyptical killing machine but he's my apocalyptical killing machine. <laughs> Poor little baby floating out in the sea. I can't wait to see how they explain this. How did he end up so far up Shit's Creek without a paddle? Oh, did he tie himself onto the boat? I'm just so proud of him. I'm so proud of him. Our little anti-social boy from season one. Look at him now. He got his own damn show. That could be P. That could be Paint Stripper. That could be anything. Ireland is on the map. Hey, there I am up there. Dad, go north. Go north and south a little bit. Come on over. We'll look after you. Oh my god. I've been snapped out of this very emotional scene. That is Pingu. We have that exact teddy bear. We bought it for my dog when she was a puppy. But when she got older and started developing feelings, we had to take Pingu off of her because she used to hump that fucking bear up and down the stairs, around the kitchen, out in the garden. We had to take the bear. She used to get vicious if you went anywhere near Pingu. That is my dog's boyfriend. Seriously, man, come on, North, come on up to us. Actually, I live in Limerick. We live right along um, the Shannon. He could just float his way over and I'd catch him. I'd pull him in. It's Daryl Dixon. Oh, God, I love him. I come from a place called the Commonwealth. This is gorgeous. Very Lord of the Rings. Gandalfing his way across France. This does give me hope, though. It makes me think, like, with more spin-offs and stuff coming out and with shows like Tales, Tales of the Walking Dead, even though that show has just kind of disappeared. There's so much potential moving the show outside of the US and exploring other territories around the world, how they're faring, how they're dealing with the outbreak. I reiterate my earlier sentiment, come to fucking Ireland, man. I come on, please, just give us a chance. I would break my ankles. I would run to that casting call so fast. He had beautiful blue eyes. Holy shit. Holy shit, was his blood acidic? Get your meaty claws off him, oh my god, you're burning him! This world sucks, man. I would just give up and fucking die. Oh, so sexy. <laughs> Ew, red. We got redness, there's infection setting in, babe. I don't think water and a bit of gauze is gonna help that. And here we have Miss Flora Delaclore. She's been introduced already. Norman's an executive producer on this too. Struggled with that word there. Shut up, I'm very excited, okay? Bonjour. Parlez, parlez, parlez l'anglais, s'il vous plaît? Uh, je ne parle beaucoup français. I don't understand you. Je ne comprends pas. Hey. I use that term in French class all the time. He held the ankle. You get medical? We trade you for an apple or a, a rabbit. It's alternate universe. Troy Otto. Okay, as excited as I am for this, and so far, yes, I'm intrigued, and I am just gripped by the balls right now. What the fuck have they done to his costume? They have him wearing 
a fisherman's jacket, some kind of like punk rock hot topic leather gloves. Okay, he's wearing the same old pants, which I'm happy about. But what are what are his fucking shoes? I'm gonna try and get a cleaner shot of them. It looks like he's wearing runners. I don't know, some kind of old pair of New Balances. <laughs> his protective instincts are gonna kick in. Oh yeah. Save the powder. <laughs> Oh, for fuck's sake, he's shot already! Okay, understandable that they'd be suspicious, but oh, I hate you both! They're robbing him. They're fucking robbing him. This is why we can't have nice things. He tried to help you guys. He could have let you be kidnapped by them, but he didn't. And here we are, lying on the cold hard ground. Shush! You guys suck. Hang on, I don't know if it's the excitement from the show or the heat wave. It's probably a mixture of both. I have to plug the fan in. We don't have AC because that's not something that houses typically have in Ireland. I'll find them. I'll bring them home. Shoot it! It's not like we're ever gonna see each other again. Back to your singing. We can go look at the sexy American in a while. You gotta finish choir practice first. I wouldn't. I'd sneak the fuck out. I'd be gone. I'd be gone. I'd be fixing my habit. You know, making sure I'm wearing my best rosary beads. My name is Isabel. There's no need to be afraid. You're a guest. Cauterization is the best way to prevent the spread. That means with the market. Hmm? You're from America. Place called Commonwealth, right? I found your tape recorder. You call me Daryl. Okay, so he already trusts them. We're skipping right to a first name basis. Well, if you can't trust a gaggle of nuns, who can you trust, I suppose? What in the love of God is going on out here? I'm trying to teach her how to walk in high heels? Just close that curtain. I'm too tired to deal with that shit. See, it's details like this that I love that they haven't forgotten about. Like, I understand it's a show and they can't forget about it. So many shows slip up and, and, and fuck up when it comes to things like this. The scars on his back that we learnt about earlier on in The Walking Dead from his childhood. I love that they, that they included that, that they showed you that. Because a lot of shows don't bother with a lot of that stuff when you get later on up in the seasons. And also, is that just a wall of crosses and why is that one upside down? Should I be concerned? He's actually taking a fucking bath! Oh, the writers of Daryl Dixon, they were sick of the not bathing joke, so they said we're gonna put him in a fucking bath in episode one. Fight and fiction. Over the years, our Abby has become part of a group called Union de l'Espoir. So all faiths are welcome? She is showing Daryl more gentleness than he has been shown in years. She is the embodiment of what I would be as a character if I could just fucking force my way into one of these shows. I would just give him a bat, I'd rub some cream on his wounds, I'd wrap him up like a baby burrito in a blanket, and I would put him to bed and sing him a song. She can get the choir of nuns in here to sing him a song later. Yeah, I never put much stock in her. God, only put stuck in you. His scars on your back. Daddy was a smoker. You have the rings? Mm. You still. Can we... Oh. I know I'm pausing every few seconds, but I don't care. I gotta talk about this. I'm so excited. He's talking so much and being so open. This is not at all like him. I mean, I guess 11 seasons of character development in The Walking Dead, there does come a point that it's like, there's no point in him being shut off anymore because as viewers, like we've moved past that. He's moved past that. But to hear him be so open and, and talkative with somebody like straight away to just tell them about the scars on his back and to, to mention Merle. I guess it's because he knows he has nothing to fear here. Looks like you have some too. Parish priest used to say that our scars show that we have suffered, but that we've healed from our suffering. And she is like, oh, don't want to talk about that. Daryl's like, I'm the one naked in the bath answering all your questions. You guys could be fucking washing me to put me in a stew and eat me later. But I'm being open. Medieval churches often had weapons rooms. We've trained ourselves to use them. We got warrior nuns on our side. That's Valjean's office. Are we not allowed to use that radio? It's been a while since I managed to reach anyone on it. That's shady. Oh, that's shady, and the door is hidden behind a secret wall. I'm not really good at shit like that. I speculate current French populace of fewer than 200,000. Do you know how long it would take to repopulate that many people? Very long time. How's my stomach just thinking about it? Well, babe, you don't gotta repopulate all these yeah, people by yourself. It's okay. But you're homesick. I see in your eyes. Holy shit, this kid who sat down had half a conversation with Daryl. Daryl hasn't even spoken that much. This child has been like, hey. Lots of people are dead, huh? <laughs> That's funny. You're homesick. <laughs> Baby Timothy Chamelay has a read on Daryl already. I feel your sadness. But you deserve a happy ending too. Oh! The bomb? Not prepared for the truth bomb Laurent was about to drop. He's a faible, he's a bad ennui. There's a man who came to us to help us, 
Et il y a deux types comme vous euh, qui sont venus nous aider, c'est ça. So we have French Negan. Ok. Bonjour Negan à la France. Where are you going? Just be We are waiting for him to rise again. Baby! <laughs> He's risen! Oh yeah, I knew there had to be something crazy going on here. Alright, so we have like a Governor and Penny situation. You can't leave, not without us. You're gonna stop me? I've been waiting for you. Do you think he's the second coming of Jesus? He's a messenger. A messenger? A prophet? Oh. Ha 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 Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, you should stick to math. Three weeks ago. Before you came, our leader is a Buddhist monk. He came through on a pilgrimage some years ago. He recognized something in Laurent. Wait, was I half right? Did you think that Laurent is a prophet? Laurent is special. He's a new messiah. The two broke a month ago. You've been fucking with me. So we get F-bombs in this show. Thank you, Jesus. Also, can we just take a moment? Not only did Daryl wash up in France somehow, unexplainedly, he also has to deliver the messiah to a place. Only Daryl could find himself in this kind of fucking situation. We've heard rumors of ships that come and go, but it's just rumors. We know Daryl's gonna do it. He has a soft spot for kids. We know that he's gonna fucking do it. He's gonna end up caring about the kids. This is gonna be a Joel and Ellie situation, but with love of my life, Daryl Dixon and the possible future Messiah. Oh, oh. Michel. Michel is your brother? I don't know how anybody survives in this world. First sign of inconvenience, I'd lie down and die. And I say that all the time, but it's true. He's growing up with no friends, no father figure. He doesn't know about any of it. Cardi made plans. I ain't looking to make any more. Oh man, he's gonna have to follow them back to the nunnery and kill them now too. He could probably take them out. It looks like there's what, six or seven of them? Killer nun mode activated. Nuns skipping down to the armory. That's... Daryl's probably gonna cartwheel in over one of these walls and just start stupidly stabbing his way through them. Although, to be honest, I think I'm more interested. I want to see what the nuns can do. Hide, little dude. You didn't lock the door before... There aren't you with one job. Lock the door. For someone who can see the future, you're not very fucking good at it. How come you didn't foresee them coming? Huh? This is... Pierre? <laughs> He's raised once and we believe he'll, he'll do it again. Ooh. Oh fuck yeah! Murderous nuns! I love it! Murderous nuns and Daryl Dixon down the corridor. Dream team. Oh, I forgot that the bad guys have guns. One's gonna come in. Seven. <laughs> How many of your nuns did he take out? No fucking mercy for this cunt. That's right, you better run, you fucking pussy. Come back here, I snap your ankles off and feed them to Father Jean. Jean. I cannot remember that man's name. You don't believe. You never saw a raised on tour. It's bien sûr qu'on attend. Well, now he has to do it. A fucking, it was a dying nun's wish. You can't say no to that. Okay. Here's Wonderwall. I ran into some bad people. They put me on a boat. I wonder if your one singing there is giving him like flashbacks to Beth. To that one scene where Beth was singing around the campfire. All right, then. He'll do it if he can go home after. I'll take you where you need to go. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I am. I am. I am. I am. The scenery is beautiful. The, the set is divine. I love the costuming. I love the concept. I love... I, I, I'm, this is probably my favourite that we've seen outside of The Walking Dead. And, and I am biased because I adore Daryl. Also, there's a way they could have done this so wrong and it seems like they're not. This seems like they're going to do it so fucking right. I know that guy just escaped there and like, ooh, he's going to be the big bad. <sighs> One knife fight and Daryl would take care of him. That was... If you go if you go back in time and tell me that you're gonna get a Daryl Dixon show, I would have like imploded from excitement. But I also would not have expected killer warrior nuns, you know, and, and Daryl being the deliverer of the Messiah. I don't think my brain could have come up with a storyline like that. Sober anyway. But my god, it's it works, it's working. I mean I'm I'm drawn in, I'm sucked the fuck in, I'm strapped in and ready for the rest of the season. It does just kind of suck that they can't promote it because of the strikes and stuff that's going on. Now, I know that's it. I know it's well needed. I know that there's reasons behind the strikes and behind um, 
the reasons as to why you can't promote a show in America. I don't really understand it, but I know that the rollout of shows is different in the strike and it's just, just kind of sad that they can't do a usual rollout. But I really hope this does well. I really hope it does well, like review wise, critic wise, number wise with people tuning in because my God. Yeah, like I said at the beginning, if you guys want to see the extended version of this, that's going up over on Patreon. I have to be careful with editing here on YouTube. I have to keep things choppy, keep things short. I do get comments about that sometimes. People being like, oh my God, your video is so short or you talk a lot. And I'm like, well, when you take an hour-long video and condense it down into like nine minutes, yeah. But the extended version's up over on Patreon along with, uh, what day is today? It's Monday. So there's also Outer Banks reactions and X-Files reactions going up today. As well as others throughout the week. Uh, but yeah, oh my god, what did you guys think? What did you think? This is a very exciting day for me. He is my favourite character, like, ever. Probably from any show ever and has been since 2016. So I just, I don't know, I feel I feel really weird. I'm like, my man, my baby boy got his own show. And I'm just really happy. 